I'm back. Um, so, I'm back in this Minecraft world, sort of exploring. Uh, finally found Rarity's house, so now this is our sort of mini dungeon of exploring this thing and getting some good loot out of it. I'm hoping to find some diamonds in here. Uh, the video seemed to go through pretty well. I mean, at least it was recorded pretty well. I should sleep pretty soon. Um, I have yet to, like, um, upload it onto YouTube. I all already have uploaded it onto YouTube by the time that you see this. Ooh, dark in here. Creeper. Be back in the mine. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Now this area is compromised. Get some good wool. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's kind of a perilous area. Gonna get you. I'm not abandoning this place. I do want my diamonds. How far a man will go. Uh, I'm considering... Wait, what's this? Great wall. Okay, it's all wall. I need coal or something so I can light torches in this area because I don't want anything spawning behind me. Um, very quiet, just focusing. I'm not getting the shit kicked out of me if I go upstairs here. Okay, there's a skeleton right there. Man, this makes a whole different game with Minecraft. Usually you'd be a lot more scared going into the dungeons and feel a lot safer in houses, but this is like... You'd feel a lot more scared going into the caves. It's like makes dungeons out of the whole thing. Like playing Doom or some old fantasy game or something. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where'd he go? Hide from me. There. Fuck you. Okay. Okay. I hope this is worth it. I hope there are actual diamonds in here. That's not guaranteed, though. Okay. That lights things up. I'm gonna steal one of these... I did, forgot that just breaks it. I want to steal one of those glowstones just so I can, like, up. Ah, there's a torch. Awesome. When you take a torch, you can sort of update the light in an area, um, which is invaluable right now. See, so everything's lit up now. Almost as a way of exploring and knowing where I've been and where I'm going. Toy chest. There aren't any toys in here. Oh no. I'm telling you, I wish you could see it, but there was an area in one of the old versions of Rarity's house, maybe, and it was just all diamonds. It was like, this is the diamond storage area. Um, and I would love to get my hands on that. I think this is the upstairs, or... Oh yeah, this is her house. Oh, fuck! Ah. Okay, well, that's not the end for me. I'm going back. I'm betraying my uh, own rules for this campaign several times, but I'm having too much fun with this, you know. I guess part of the challenge that's going to be added to this situation is... Um, That'll have to restart exploring from where I began, right in the middle of Equestria. I know those fuckers are going to be right back there when I get there. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty fun to explore like this, I guess. Um, I can afford to run a bit. I've got some food. 
I should cook those uh, pork chops eventually. I remember all the way back, I've been playing Minecraft ever since, like, from the beginning. Um, there's an Enderman there. It'd be great if, like, you know, I wanted to go to the end, but I don't think I'm gonna find any Ender portals in this world. Yeah, this world's also so big, there might be some memory issues when you get to the edge of a map. I was sort of exploring in creative mode, just messing around. Um, and I definitely ran into the edge of the map a few times. Okay, so let's update the light in this room. Still not quite enough light, not a very well lit area. Well, at least I know that that one Creeper has exploded, so I don't have to deal with him again when I get back up there. But I don't have high hopes for finding a lot of diamonds in this area. So I might have to rethink that and go somewhere else. Yeah, this is a pretty perfect recreation varieties room from the show, though. Nice house, too. Hmm. I'm gonna offload some stuff, because... Don't need rotten flesh, although it is kind of funny, it looks like a flower. Don't need these old things. Birch sapling, wool. I mean, unless I wanted to make a bed, which I don't really need to now. Brick stairs. Uh, okay. Don't know where I can get coal. Someone might have that eventually, but... I keep... Picking up shit that's been blown up from that creeper explosion. It's almost a situation where it might be a bit better um, if I left tile drops off because I just got a lot of shit clunking up my inventory, fluttering up my inventory. Oop. Goodbye. So, no diamond there. I'm gonna have to think outside the box. Um. Yeah, it almost feels like urban exploration of um, a Minecraft server. I like watching a few urban exploration videos. I always kind of wanted to get into that myself. I've been watching a ton of Vagrant Holiday. That's a great YouTube channel. Or I watched a ton of it, you know. It's the type of thing where you uh, watch one and end up getting addicted enough that you just binge the whole thing in like one sitting or two sittings or whatever. Hmm. Don't know how much I'm going to play of this today either. Probably got to make some time to write, but... Doesn't look like there's anything in here unless they're hiding anything in the furnace, which you aren't. I think the paintings might have had some more variety once upon a time, but as it stands, every single one is rarity in this texture pack. Um, so there's just a creepy obsession with kid rarity all over the place. Don't know if that's this version or something messed up in the world generation. Yeah, it was. this map is very nearly becoming completely lost to time, which is kind of a shame because it's such a great map. Um... But initially, you could just go on the server. They shut the server down, of course, because people weren't really uh, playing the server anymore. Um, and then they just, uh, they used to have, like, the, the website up, um, but they took the website off because, you know, server costs are kind of a pain to deal with. Um, and now the uh, only place you can get it is this, like, 40 bread, good stuff. Awesome. Okay. Oh, that would have been so good. Nice. Pickaxe. I'll take that. Um, a saddle. If I found any horses, that would make transportation a lot easier, so I'm going to keep that around too. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to stop load some stuff. Snowballs. Front and flesh. Spider eye. <clears throat> so, oh, what was I saying? Yeah, the only place I could find this was some GitHub um, 
website where they just had like every version going back in time. Um, if there's any interest in the comments, like people are really dying to know how they can play this Equestria server themselves and go on their own adventure here, I can put that in the description. Um, but I still have no idea if anyone's going to actually watch this video, so, you know. Yeah, that's alright. Not really making it for anyone. Just uh, to show my girlfriend, I guess. My girlfriend likes to hear me talk to myself. Um, I used to have, like, you know, I was obsessed when I was, like, 12 with YouTube, as any kid was back in, like, 2010. Um, and I had dreams of myself becoming some big content creator. So I uploaded a few videos of myself when I was 12 and, like, God, it's the cringiest stuff, but Sophie can't get enough of it. Sophie's my girlfriend. Um, she wants to see that all the time. Boom, boom. Alright. Get a slice of cake at the counter. Sandwich is half off today. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna sleep in your uh, house, too. You actually seem well lit enough that that's possible. Amazing. Alright. I guess I'm going to be recording like two 30 minute some episodes today, which is going to be more than I expect. Such a beautiful day. It's uh, down here in Texas. It's finally um, February, at least. And finally March, at least, I mean. So uh, now summer is almost coming in. 70 degree weather outside. Might take a walk. Like that clock tower. Oh, look at the size of that mountain. Oh yeah, that's mmm. That's the one that in that one episode they went and attacked that dragon. And the dragon was guarding a shitload of valuables. Mmm. Okay. It might be a really good idea to make my way to that mountain and scale it, which is going to be difficult in survival mode. But if I do that, I can totally get some good loot out of that. Like, I can see him having just, like, blocks of diamonds there. Which is something I'd really want. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going there. Rarity's house was a, um, big loss. But... I can definitely see you get some diamonds, see you getting some diamonds out of that place. Beautiful area. It's really good world generation. Be kind of cool if Minecraft sort of looked like this. The regular world generation. I played a bit of the new um, <clears throat> Caves and Cliffs update, and I was just completely thrown out of the loop by how the blocks now go to, like, negative 64 or whatever. That feels like a betrayal of my sensibilities as a Minecraft player over the years. I've been playing this shit ever since I was, like, 12. And, like, all of a sudden you're gonna change that fundamental... a law of the game, I guess. Just feels wrong. So I think this would be the mountain. I mean, it's so... Tall and so pointy. It would make sense this is where the dragon is. And if memory serves, oh yeah, look at that. That's like the ledge they jump from one side to the other. Pinky sings early like cop switch, skipping a jump song. Um, or if we're going from Friendship is Witchcraft, so she sang that song about how she was adopted or whatnot. Friendship is Witchcraft was peak comedy, and I can't believe Jenny Nicholson counter-signaled her own show. Um, and yes, I am attacking Jenny Nicholson, who's Sophie's baby. Not baby, but like, uh, truly loves her. She has a good YouTube channel. <clears throat> Alright. Awesome, we can make our way over there. This is like a Lord of the Rings quest going all over the place. Yeah, speaking of Lord of the Rings, 
they had a whole Lord of the Rings crossover with ponies in a fan fiction. Um, it's a dangerous business going out your door, was the name I remember. Um, that was insane. There was also like Fallout Equestria, which was like what, the length of like War and Peace and beyond that. Just a super long book. Um, don't know where zombies are hiding here. Insanely long book, but people just sort of did this in the pony fandom. Um, I was pretty proud to be a part of that fandom. Uh, I like having render dick distance on maximum. You can get a good view of the town from all the way over here. We're already above the cloud layer, too. This is uh, 131 blocks up. I wonder what ground level is. Oof, that is a perilous jump now. Okay, well I got water, but... Up, skip, and jump. Spoop your little run. Alright. Ah, look at that. It's gorgeous. They really know how to make a very good, uh... Minecraft world. I might be able to, like, build a... Um... A boat and sail back to the town after that because walking all this way from the mountains is kind of a pain. This is where the boulders fall, where the avalanche happens, and friendship is witchcraft. Hmm, what are those dirt blocks are going all the way up that mountain? It might be fun eventually to just follow the railroad and see where it goes, it takes me. One will take me to Canela, and the other will take me to Manhattan. Oh. I did not anticipate this place being crawling with monsters, but I probably should have. Oh, they're all coming for me all at once. Oh, I'm getting mobbed. That is insane. Well, they're all gonna get fucked coming out of the freaking cave. Uh -huh. Okay, but that's not gonna be good for the creepers or the spiders that are in there. Maybe I should just progressively lead all of them out like some sick Pied Piper. Follow me to death. They just keep coming. How many are in that area? What is it with the rate of monster spawning here? It's insane. Okay. <sighs> Look at that. This is like a boss battle. Wish I had a bow. I could just fire blindly into that place. And they don't stop coming, 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 and they don't stop coming. Lump set on fire, that's no good. I don't want to have to walk all the way back here. You've got your special armor that makes you immune. I really want that diamond though. Don't know why, I can suffice pretty well with like... A set of iron tools. I should update- I should try and make my way to update the light in there too. Okay, there. Light's updated. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's not gonna be good at all. I can't just be getting, like, volley-fired by arrows every single time I walk in there. <clears throat> it's an utter mess. Oh, there you are. Neither of you want to burn. Go fight him. Please. Oof. My food is not going to last- oh yeah, I have bread. Awesome. Cause those apples were not gonna last me forever. It's almost the sense in which you need to marshal how much food you have. 
in order to survive when you're fighting. I know that's realistic to real life combat. It's like you're in the middle of a fist fight and you gotta stop and grab a quick sandwich or something. Oh shit. Is this start? No, that's not manageable at all. Is there anything in there? Worth a damn? It might all be gold. Set me on fire. It is very easy for me to burn to death when I'm just eating like apples. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh! Eat, 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 eat! <gasps> oh god. That was way too close. They don't stop. Okay. Must have gained like 10 levels out of this just one cave alone. Totally not going to be worth it. I think there is a chest or something in there. Though. I see one diamond block, I think. Okay, fuck this. I'm coming back when I've got like a much better capacity to deal with all this bullshit than I do right now. In the meantime, it's a lot better to just get the hell back to Ponyville. Let's see what I'm gonna do from here. Probably made for some decently interesting uh, YouTube viewing though. Man, I came close to death like a few times. I was like one bit from just burning to death right there. Alright. When you can lose everything when you die, it gets a bit more dramatic flair to dying in particular. of the Discord notifications are popping up. Okay. You're getting, uh, muted. Alright, there. Muted that Discord server. Hmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna build a little boat and sail all the way back to town. Should get a horse to make it easier to move between areas. Definitely. Yeah, that's fitting, isn't it? My little pony getting a horse. Wait, this is the love and tolerance texture pack, so I think all the horses also look like the different ponies from the series, too. Get a ride on Twilight Sparkle all over the place. All right, let's go. I always kind of wanted to do a few Let's Plays on my channel. I play video games enough that it's like reasonable to sort of do that. Um, oh, my boat's sinking. I was waiting until I run a Twitter called Is Oddity Out Yet? And I was kind of waiting until um, that game came out 
then I do some Twitch streaming and upload some YouTube videos, but that game's never coming out. But the uh, strategy in playing this game versus like any other game of Minecraft, oh, man, is so sort of interesting that I thought it was worth having a bit of commentary and showing off to other people what this game's like. Hmm. The river doesn't go to town, I guess. Let's book it all the way back home. It's pretty fun, I'll be uploading this like piecemeal, probably. Each episode every 30 minutes. So really desolate, really adds to that post-apocalyptic type flavor. It's so the aftermath of a zombie apocalypse in this game, and the zombies are all stuck in their houses. So, if COVID went bad, I guess. Hmm. Don't know what my goal is right now. That dragon mountain seemed like a really good idea all the way up until, like, I got just completely bodied by all the monsters that were hiding in there. It's gonna be a problem in pretty much any place I go to, most likely. But hey, that's the fun of this, uh, specific run or campaign of Minecraft. Getting myself in a severe danger for your entertainment. Ooh. Well, well, well. Someone felt kind enough to just give me a diamond chest plate and a helmet, so that's good. I don't know. That's a bit more comfortable. Stuff only. Hmm. No, uh... Leggings or boots, though. It is a bit of a pain, but I'm not going to look, look a gift horse in the mouth here. I like this area. Some good stuff here. Large chest. Nah, nothing up there that looked any good. I'll take a second look, actually. Nope, didn't miss anything. There's gonna be no shortage of books. Oh, I should go get that enchantment table. I don't quite remember where it is, and I don't want to busy myself with going to find it. But getting some enchanted stuff would be pretty good eventually. What the fuck? They're all stuck in this door. You have fun in that house. I'm gonna be anywhere else, if that's alright with everyone. Apple. One more apple. And it's bread. Probably make a crap load more bread too, for me. That's another strategy, I sort of like being nomadic in uh, Minecraft as well. Just sort of wandering around, um, sleeping under the stars and all that. It's a bit more interesting to do here because there's that exploration element. Almost like playing a Fallout game without any dialogue or story. Nah, nothing interesting here. I think I've about seen what there is to see in Ponyville. There's probably much more interesting stuff to be found in Manhattan. If I find that railroad, I can, like, make my way over to that city. Which would be a bit more interesting to show around. 
And this episode's coming to an end, coming to the 30 minute mark, so good a time as any to leave it off and leave for next episode, where next episode we'll probably be going to explore that city. So, I'll see you all then. Bye.